Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why not treating your hearing loss with hearing aids should scare the heck out of you. Coming up. Remember those old anti-drug commercials from back in the 80s? Well, in case you don't, just understand that the general premise of this anti-drug campaign was to show you how bad drugs were for your brain by cracking an egg into a hot frying pan. And while this video is not an anti-drug video, there are a lot of similarities between drugs and hearing loss because they both affect your brain negatively. In fact, I did recreate that 1980s anti-drug video with more of a hearing loss spin, so if you wanna see it, make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video I have to tell you it is the finest piece of acting that I've ever done. Now I'm sure you're wondering, Cliff, how could you possibly compare the negative effects of untreated hearing loss on the brain with the negative effects of drug use on the brain? Well, trust me, I'm going to get to that in this video. But before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click that like button, I really appreciate it because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I really release multiple new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it and I also appreciate Phonak, today's video sponsor, but more on them in a little bit. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the research to see how untreated hearing loss negatively impacts your brain. There have been numerous studies over the past several years that have shown an increased risk of cognitive decline and dementia due to hearing loss. A few of the more notable ones include a study from Johns Hopkins by Dr. Frank Lynn that indicated a mild hearing loss doubles your risk of dementia, a moderate loss triples your risk, and a severe loss increases your risk of dementia by five times. A study from the SenseCog project indicated that a decline in memory scores was faster in individuals who did not treat their hearing loss with hearing aids, and this decline slowed when the hearing loss was treated. And then you have the recent study from the Lancet Commission that identified hearing loss as the leading potentially modifiable risk factor for dementia later in life at 9%. In fact, these are only three of many studies that have already come out and will continue to come out since the link between hearing loss and overall brain health is a top global health concern. This does prompt us to ask a few questions. First one being, with untreated hearing loss, what structural changes are actually happening in the brain? And number two, with these changes, can they be reversed by using hearing treatment? Of course, I have some research about that as well. You see, doctors Anu Sharma and Dr. Hannah Glick out of the University of Colorado at Boulder have been hard at work studying the actual changes that occur in the brain due to hearing loss and the subsequent treatment of hearing loss. In a study they published in 2017, they identified that when the human brain is deprived of one of its sensory modalities, it results in the recruitment of cortical resources of the deprived modality by intact sensory modalities. This is just a technical way of saying that if you deprive your brain of sound, other areas of your brain are going to start taking over the auditory areas. In a follow-up study they published in 2020, they identified that following clinical treatment with hearing aids, a reversal in cross-modal reorganization of the auditory cortex by vision was observed in the age-related hearing loss group, coinciding with gains in speech perception and cognitive performance. Thus, beyond the known benefits of hearing aid use on communication, outcomes from this study provide evidence that clinical intervention with well-fit amplification may promote more typical cortical organization and functioning and provide cognitive benefit. Basically what I'm telling you here is that if you treat your hearing loss with hearing aids, it literally changes the way that your brain processes information. So not only do you get better speech understanding, but it is likely that you'll have better cognitive performance down the road as well. The catch is you do not get to experience these benefits unless you consistently wear your hearing aids. And that is exactly what Phonak, today's video sponsor, is promoting with their new health feature inside of their new My Phonak app. Phonak understands that just having amazing hearing aid technology is not enough when it comes to having a significant impact on your overall health and well-being. They also realize that you must consistently wear your hearing aids if you want to receive the maximum amount of benefit from your devices. Perhaps the number one variable to maximizing your performance with hearing aids after they have been fit and programmed properly following best practices is to increase your overall wear time. 
I typically tell all of my patients that I want them to wear their hearing aids at least eight hours a day to maximize their hearing performance, as well as potentially reverse any negative effects that have occurred due to auditory deprivation on their brain. Inside of the health section of the MyPhoneAck app, it is now easy to see what your average daily wear time is, so you know if you're wearing your devices enough to prevent the negative brain effects of untreated hearing loss, as well as improving your overall hearing performance, especially when it comes to understanding speech and background noise. If you think you can wear your hearing aids for only a few hours a day in certain situations and get the full amount of benefit from them, I'm sorry to say that you're mistaken. Longer wear times equal more benefit, plain and simple. Of course, with Phonex focus on well hearing as well being, not only do they care about your hearing health and your cognitive health, they also care about your physical health as well. There are a number of research studies that link hearing loss to lower physical activity levels, which is why tracking some basic metrics like steps while wearing your Phonak hearing aids can help to encourage more physical activity, which is also associated with better overall health and well-being. But that's not all. If you happen to have the Phonak Audeo Fit hearing aids, the new receiver and canal heart rate sensors can track your heart rate to ensure that you are challenging your cardiovascular system enough throughout the day. When it's all said and done, we are just scratching the surface when it comes to hearing loss and all of the potentially negative health effects that will occur if that hearing loss is not treated correctly. We also know that there are virtually no negatives when it comes to treating your hearing loss, as it almost always results in a significant improvement in your communication ability and improvement in cognitive function. So if simply treating your hearing loss is the key to improving your quality of life right now and into the future, the question I have for you is, why wouldn't you? That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my new website, hearingup.com. Is there anyone out there who still isn't clear about what untreated hearing loss does to your brain? Okay, last time. This is your brain. This is hearing loss. This is your brain with untreated hearing loss. Any questions? <laughs>